Hello world, this is Jeffrey, JGP 146 Blake, coming to you with episode 4 of the Tales of Trio Tapu Vault. Let's get a match. Okay, so we are against a Psychic Fire, Colorless, and Dark deck. Uh, makes me think probably Espeon Garb with a dark Pokemon as tech. Um... Or it could just be Drampa Zorark with a Flareon tech. Uh, we probably do a little bit better against uh, Espeon Garb. Um, but we'll see. An Incineroar coin makes me think it might be something uh, less common. Which would be a little bit of a shame. Uh, we're certainly happy to get these mulligans though. Okay, so we'll get two extra cards. Let's see what they are. A Tapu Bulu and a Switch. Uh, always nice to have a Switch when you're starting a Grubbin. Okay, and then we top deck a Heavy Ball. Okay, so we're going to want to get a Lele, I think. So if we use the Ultra Ball, we discard a Grass Energy. We still want to attach one energy, so let's see. Uh, yeah, I think discard the Ultra Ball. I sort of would like to keep it around, but even next turn I don't think we'd have anything to discard with it. So let's check our prizes a little bit. We know we're going to grab Lele. Uh, so before we start checking our prizes, I like to um, click on what we're going to grab. It looks like one Grubbin is prized. And one field blower, I think. And then so we've got all our rare candies, all the ultra balls, all the ends. Um, one choice band is prized. And we've got so we had six of two grass energy are prized. And then the last prize, I'm not sure if I saw the Energy Recycler in there, uh, which that's definitely one that we want to know about. So we'll see if we see it. Um, should probably be double checking that. But I think I forgot to do so, because I think I thought that there was another thing prized that wasn't. So, oh well, yeah, I think I think this is good to grab a Mew, a Grubbin, and another Bulu. And then we're gonna actually, since we see the Eevee, we know that likely it's not Espeon is coming out. So we attach to Mew, uh, which can be really clutch in this matchup. And we're holding the switch so that he can't Lysander to stall us. And then if he does not in us, we will be... Okay, we see a Trubbish, so this is definitely Espeon Garb with a Zorark tech. Okay, and he plays Lily. Uh, obviously he draws up to eight cards, so six new cards. Uh, evolves into the Espeon. And since he didn't in, in us, we will be able to use the Heavy Ball to get a Vicavolt and then Rare Candy into a uh, full Vicavolt. We don't even need to use Skyla to do any part of that. So we're going to play our Switch and get Mew into the active. And then we're going to play the Heavy Ball to get a Vicavolt. And then we'll play a Rare Candy to go ahead and evolve into the Vic Vault. Clearly we want to evolve the undamaged Pokemon. And now the question is, do we want to use Skyla? We can't use Hex because that turns off Mew's ability to attack. Uh, but do we want to use Skyla? And I'm inclined to think yes, since we cannot bench any more Pokemon, we can use Skyla this turn to get a supporter for next turn. Um, so I think I think that's the play. I think 
using Skyla to get like a sycamore. Okay, there's the energy recycler we were wondering about, so that's worth knowing. Oh, did we see Tapu Coco? In any case, uh, Nature Judgment is our attack here. We don't have to discard energy. We'll get a one-hit KO because of weakness. And uh, that's pretty nice. So next turn we'll go ahead and, if possible, set up one of our Tapu Bulus. We'll be able to start attacking with Bulu basically from here on, and we should get another knockout without having to discard energy, which will be nice. Note that he cannot take a knockout on Bulu. He can only, I guess, if he gets a choice band, he can, but otherwise, he can only hit for 160 does Tabulele for a Lysander, so maybe he has the choice band. Oh no, he's taking a KO on Vicavolt. That makes sense. That's a reasonable play, uh, but unfortunately for him, it leaves us with a fully set up attacker. Uh, we'll go ahead and attach our grass energy to one of the Bulus. So we'll be on our way toward uh, getting the next attack going. Um, I think here the only thing we can do is Sycamore, but let's check our items. We have four, five items in the discard now. That makes Trash Lanch hit for 100 with the Field Blower added in. That's a 120, which is okay. And next turn, if we are not end, we will have Skyla ready to... Uh, get another Vigavolt set up for us. Uh, once again, we do not have to hit, we don't have to discard our energy. We could even use energy drive. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, but since we have three energy as two, that adds up to exactly 100. Um, but it's good that we didn't because he's resistant to Psychic. So the, the extra 20 was was necessary there. Is it not even catch that? Let's see him via Seeker for a teammates. That's fine by us. He will uh, obviously not in us since he played the teammates, which means that we are free to use Skyla to get another Bigavolt set up. So promote the Tapu Bulu, we'll attach a grass energy to Bulu, and evolve. So let's make sure we have enough energy in here first. Uh, okay, one grass, two lightning, that's good enough for now. Uh, we have the other Skyla in hand, so we'll be able to um, get the energy recycler next turn. So we get the heavy ball, and we'll use it and a rare candy to get our next. Um, I'm counting items again here, and uh, once we use the heavy ball and the uh, candy, we'll be at eight items, which is just enough that we don't get one hit KO by his next Garb Odor. Um, he's got a small hand size, so chances are reasonably good that he will not be able to hit us um, to, with an in, in which case we'll be able to get to either Lysander, if we're not one hit KO, like if, if he isn't able to somehow KO us, we can use the energy that we have and Lysander Lele for the win. Um, or even if he evolves into Espeon, we would be able to attach the choice band. Okay, Charge a Bug was the sixth prize that I couldn't remember. 
Alrighty. Uh, so we'd be able to attach the choice hand, choice band and get a one hit KO on Espeon. Um, Lysander for Lele. Uh, if he does take the one hit KO, we'll Skyla to get the energy back. And basically we would have just knocked out whatever he had up for us. But it didn't matter. He couldn't find what he was looking for. And we got the concede. So I'm glad that we finally are seeing some more kind of meta decks. And look at that. Our win streak is now up to 8. We got 150 coins. And with that, I'll go ahead and wrap up for today. We'll see you next time.